Cross it! Hey everybody, Dr. O here. In this video, we're going to cover the body planes. But first, let's chat about why it matters. So, the key is that humans are three-dimensional um, objects. So, we need the multiple planes, the X, Y, and Z axis, to actually orientate ourselves. So, the two key places where you're going to see body planes being important will be with medical imaging, like your CT scans, MRIs, those types of things that are, that are recording you in three dimensions, as well as in kinesiology. So, when a body is moving, we're not, we're not robotic, right? When we move, in, we move in all different directions. So kinesiology, so the study of the movement of the human body, and medical imaging will be when these are important. All right, let's go ahead and go through them. Let's start with the sagittal plane. So the sagittal plane will separate any structure, like this a woman here, into a left and right half. So, or another, another term you can use, these terms aren't used very much anymore, but you still do occasionally see them, would be sinister and dexter. Just kind of interesting. Sinister uh, means left, dexter means right. So take that for whatever you will. I'm left-handed, so I don't like the fact that left me is sinister. But uh, the sagittal plane separates between left and right halves. If you separate it right in the middle, like this green line here, then this is a mid-sagittal section or mid-sagittal plane. If it's off to one side or the other, so the two halves are uneven, it would be called parasagittal. All right, so that's the sagittal plane. Next, we have the frontal or coronal plane. So corona means crown. So the frontal plane will separate any structure into an anterior and posterior half or a front and back half. So pretty straightforward there. Uh, so that's the frontal plane. Then lastly, we have the transverse plane. Another term you're going to see with this quite often would be a cross section. So separating something into a superior and inferior half, or a top and bottom half. All right, so those are your three, three main, or main body planes. So just like I was mentioning before about how human movement is messy, um, these planes are often messy too. Of course, there are, there are oblique planes, there's going to be transverse planes that aren't right in the middle, but these are the three main body planes. All right, you have a wonderful day. Be blessed.